hello welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time on this channel my name is sylvia and if you love this video please like subscribe and leave a comment for me in the comment section i'm going to read all your comments i'm going to reply to all your comments so as you have seen for today i'm going to be sharing with you some hygiene tips that have really really been of help to me i'm actually going to divide this video into two parts the first part i'm going to be discussing the hygiene tip i'm going to be talking about for today and the second part i'm going to be sharing with you some smell good tips that have been really helpful and have helped me if this sounds like something that you want to hear please make sure you watch this video to the very very end and without wasting much time let's get right into the video the very first tip i'm going to be sharing with you today this has been a very big game changer since i included it as part of my dental care is using a floss using a floss just as from brushing your teeth daily is actually really important i really wish someone told me about this earlier or i'm probably i had access to this information that i'm sharing with you i know that a lot of you know about flossing flossing is something that is common but some persons may not have access to this information and i had access to the importance of this information late i didn't know the benefits of flossing constantly and how much it was going to really help change my dental hygiene as part of my dental care so some time back actually i had plagues it was severe and i even had to visit a dentist when i started having severe gum bleeding and that was when i had to pay more attention to my dental hygiene routine when you brush your teeth most times you are able to take out the dirt on the surface of your teeth but you're not able to take out the dirt that are in between your teeth and that is where a floss comes in because what a floss does that a floss helps you to take out the dirt that are in between your teeth and if i was able and i constantly did this i wouldn't even have developed the plagues that even led to me having that severe gum bleeding you understand what i'm talking about so if it was something that i had put into practice um if it was something that i had put into practice earlier on that case would have been avoided that's why i'm actually sharing it with you i'm sharing it with someone out there because i believe this video is actually going to find someone and this video is actually going to be for someone that's going to be beneficial to someone and let me put out a disclaimer here i'm not a dentist but if you have any um challenge with your dental health your dental hygiene or your oral health it's really really important that you see a dentist and have it checked out this is actually like a testimony because um, i'm so so happy um i'm really really ha excited that i was able to take that out because you know that when once plagues develop on your teeth or and you have in fact with gum bleeding it just makes your breath even after brushing your teeth your breath doesn't feel fresh you don't feel like you've had you've done a good job but when i say flossing my teeth and brushing my teeth constantly like i've always known i noticed that my breath started feeling fresh even after i'm done with brushing my teeth and i said i just actually really really felt more um, confident in my smile and i actually felt better honestly i'm really really happy that i stay flossing this year i actually started flossing constantly this year that's why i decided to share the improvements with you on this channel and to tell you that flossing is really really important even when you watch videos from dentists they will tell you about the importance of flossing using a floss using tongue scrapers not just the um, regular brush your teeth with toothpaste and toothbrush that we all know we talk about other things that are really really important to help you maintain a fresh breath so using a floss honestly has been like one of the most affordable yet important and significant inclusions i have made as part of my dental care who could think that okay this is actually the floss that i use this cold floss toothpick this is the one i could find easily i found it in a, i found it in a supermarket or i got it from a supermarket and it says here 100 pieces and i got it for 1250 naira honestly i was expecting it to be way more expensive i don't know since i have this my this is the very first pack of floss i have had or i have so it said it's 100 pieces and i actually wish i did this video when i bought it like immediately i bought it because it was a lot inside it was like a whole lot inside and you can see how it is it's it's common so you can see the parts that can be used as a floss here kind of to just gently go in between your teeth to take out the dirt and you see this part that is i think this is the part that you can use as the toothpick so this is the part that can be used as the toothpick it's like a two one can do two things yet <laughs> so this is the one i use it's called dense floss toothpick and it has really really saved me a ton honestly and i'm really really happy that I made that investment in my dental care and i said caring and take paying much attention to 
my dental health. I like to use a floss to take out um, mostly leafy vegetables that I eat during the day, but I mostly like to use it at night just before I go to bed. This is just my special preference. This is just my preference. I prefer to use it before brushing my teeth at night, just before going to bed. I just use it to gently take out the dirt in between my teeth. Emphasis on gently is very, very important that you go gently so that you don't hurt your gums. So I like to go gently in between my teeth just before I use my toothbrush and my toothpaste to actually wash my teeth. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And since I started doing this constantly, I haven't had any case like I told you guys. Like I told you, I haven't had any case of gum bleeding of any sort. Really, really important to um take care of your teeth, even though it seems like your teeth is just here and then it's zipped. But it's really, really important because your smile also adds to your overall appearance, and it's really important that you take care of your smile and your dentition as much as you can so that it, it also helps to boost your confidence when you're talking to someone so you don't have to be all and stuff like that so it's really really important that you pay attention to your teeth so just as much as you take care of your skin you buy skincare products for your skin it's also really really important that you pay much attention to your dental health for some some persons may think that um some um should i say some things happening on their teeth is normal or it's as a result of age or as a result of certain things. Some of those things can actually be corrected, but some but people don't have access to this information. They don't know that these things can be corrected. So it's really important that you see a dentist, like I already said earlier on in this video. If you have any issues with your dental health, just have it checked out. It's really, really important and it's going to really, really help you. With that being said, let's move on to the second part of today's video. So one thing that I'm going to be sharing with you today that has really made sense since I discovered the difference between it you know the difference between a deodorant and an antiperspirant so while both of these work hand in hand to actually you know reduce the body odor that oozes out from your armpits because we use it on our armpit we all know how to use a deodorant before I move on I want us to understand that the sweat that comes out does not actually smell but bacterial action on it is what causes it to smell what the antiperspirant does is that it actually prevents sweating itself by blocking the sweat glands. And so since I found out about this, I particularly go for the, you know, the bottles where I see antiperspirants written on it. It helps me stay um, refreshed for longer during the day because it helps to reduce the, you know, the amount of sweat that's going to be released from my sweat glands and in turn help to, you know, prevent and reduce the, the odor that comes out from the armpit. And another thing that I would like to share with you is just the importance of taking time to scrub the um, armpit because like I already told you that the arm, this sweat that comes out from there itself does not smell, but as a, it smells as a result of bacterial action. So the least you could do is just take time while showering to just actually take time to actually scrub there, take time to gently wash that place, take time to not just rush to you know shower but pay much attention to that place so that you can actually take out all the dirt germs and the bacteria from that area so another thing i like to do that has really really been helpful is just pay attention to exfoliating there because um accumulation of dead skin cells over the surface of the armpit can cause darkness and i'm actually going to say this at this point of this video Using a deodorant, using an antiperspirant, whatever it is you decide to use, is honestly an act of kindness. It's an act of kindness to yourself and the people around you because, well, at times, some persons may not know the importance and the significance of actually constantly or daily using a deodorant before they step out. But it's very, very important that you, if you are the type that, I don't know, you can actually step out come. I don't know. You can actually step out comfortably without using a deodorant. Just know that using a deodorant is important. I don't want to say too much. <laughs> because I believe that before we actually put other things on top, like our perfumes and other things just just to smell better and you know to have a lovely smell while stepping out, it's just really important that the underlying or the basics, which is just simply taking time to wash those places that are more prone to smelling and just taking time to prepare the shower and all that is actually really really important so that it adds to everything that your the basics should i say 
you smell nice already you smell clean you smell fresh before you actually use the perfume on top to actually finish everything like the sugar on the or the icing on the cake and so the perfume just comes perfumes just come as the icing on the cake it's just really important that you as an individual before actually using perfume that you should also just be um smelling fresh smelling healthy smelling smelling fresh smelling good so that's just it so like i already said perfumes should just be the icing on the cake and not to use perfume should not be used to actually cover up smell it's just really important that you actually take note of this so if you've come to this point of this video and if you love this video please give this video a like subscribe and leave a comment for me in the comment section please share your thoughts with me in the comment section i would really really want to know your thoughts please share more things you want me to talk about more tips in the comment section you might be helping someone in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video up until this point see you